Hello friends, today we are having our next exercise that is simulation of HODC system. So in uh, simulation of HODC system, we are looking for study of six pulse HODC transmission system. So first of all, what is in my HODC transmission system? We know that if we have to transfer electrical energy from one end to another end, and the distance between two ends is very much high. Okay, larger distance. So, at particular case, uh, we can transfer bulk amount of electrical power by using the HVDC transmission. So, that's why we are using the HVDC link rather than the AC link. So, we are having lots of advantages, uh, limitation also, and uh, advancement of technology also. Okay, nowadays we are looking for HVDC light or HVDC plus. Okay, so we know about it. But today our main focus is what? We have to transmit bulk amount of power by using the bridge converter. So here we are using the 6 plus bridge converter. And the main important point of uh, HVDC link is one is the sending and substation and the receiving and substation. Okay. So the sending and substation we are consider as a as a rectifier unit and the receiving end we are having the inverter unit. Okay, so this is a converter system that is converter transformer and converter bridge. Okay, so the main focus is six pulse bridge converter. Okay, so we know that in case of six pulse we are getting six pulse as the output. So that's why we are talking about the six pulse. Uh, Converter. So, first of all, we are going to directly the simulation and we understand uh, the six pulse HOD system. Okay. So, we are considering over here that is 500 megawatt, 250 kV, 2 kilo ampere HOD transmission system. So, uh, there is a circuit uh, description, we are just looking in afterwards. Okay, otherwise uh, you just check it out, what is the, this particular description. We are directly going to the uh, simulation. So here we are using the MATLAB, uh, MATLAB 2016. And this is a, a command vendor. Okay, you have to just write down power underscore HVDC. And if you click the enter, uh, you are getting the Simulation of HODC system. Okay, so this is our main focus. Six pulse HODC transmission system, 500 megawatt. So here we can see this is uh, main our rectifier. Okay, if you see the the values we are getting over here. Okay, so the simulation it is readily available in the MATLAB. You can just go through. And also we are using for the for the converter purpose. Okay, so next one is converter transformer. It is a different types of transformer. Okay, so there is a delta one having the secondary winding and the primary winding is star connected, star to ground. Okay, and three uh, single phase transformer we are using in this case and uh, the nominal uh, power. And the frequency. So uh, here we are having the 60 hertz frequency, right? Okay. So main focus is the rectifier converter transformer. This is a source 5000 MVA equivalent and 315 KV. So this is a source, energy source we are getting, and this is a branch, RLC branch. Okay. So here we are having the branch type RL. And they are having the resistance and inductance. Okay. Dominal system. And of course, when we are having the converter, we require the huge amounts of reactive power. So here we are having the uh, filters. There is a capacitor band, tone filters, high pass damp filter. Okay, so this is all about we are using. And then uh is uh It is a branch, okay, and after we have to connect smoothing resistance, you can say, okay, 
so this is uh, reduces the pulsation of in a in a DC system. Okay, so output of the rectifier has some kind of pulsation. Okay, so we have to smooth that one. So we are using this one. Okay, and another we are having second function is when there is a point, when there is a DC point, that current we have to reduce. Okay, so limit that particular current also we are using this inductor. Okay, so there is a second uh, function. Okay, so this is a DC line, 300 kilometers, so it is a long DC line, and uh, this is a 60 hertz frequency, okay, and 300 kilometers, right. Uh, this is the inverter, so we are not making likewise that point of rectifier converter unit, it is simple RL, okay, so we are getting the inverter, diode, and uh, voltage source. Okay, main focus is what? To convert uh, AC into DC and transmitter. Okay. And we have to find out uh, if there is a fault in a, in a uh, transmission line. Otherwise, we have to find out the fault in the converter unit. So, what is the effect on the voltage and current? Okay. So, we have to solve that. Okay. And for the measurement purpose, we require the VABC. Okay. So, that we have to measure. Okay. So, for the controlling of pulse power, we require the some kind of pulses. Okay, so we have to control the alpha 0 to 90 degree, correct? So, the measurement, if you are getting VABC over here, VABC we have to put it out. And the current from the transmission line, we have to take feedback. And uh, by rectifier control, it can be controlled. If you see the current, when there is a pulse, so there is a a signal is passed to the gate pulse if it is required or not. If you have to increase the current or decrease the current. According to that, the alpha is decrease or increase. Okay, or vice versa. So, and then ID and VDS. We have to measure that also. Okay. So, here the data acquisition system we are using. So, we are getting, just I just zoom in this one. So, data acquisition system, here we can say, the ID, ID reference, so ID value or ID reference, those we are ha getting the value, alpha, point current, point current in a, in a transmission line, okay, VABC, IABC, VD, and VDS. So VABC, IB, IABC is the input of the rectifier, VD or VDL, it is the output of the rectifier, or you can say that transmission line voltage. Okay, again, this is ID, ID reference is also the transmission line voltage. Alpha is the input of the rectifier and the fault in the transmission line. When there is a fault, what is this going on? Okay, so I just zoom out, I'm sorry. So I just run, uh, before going to run, we are just working with the discrete system. Okay, discrete and solver type backward load and tungsten okay so this is a sampling time and once again we are having another uh, solver okay so here we are having this particular setting you are just go through that one and then you can just easily find out it takes times to run okay so it is uh, so we, at particular case when there is a run so we are getting the scope value. Okay, huh? This is common, right? So solver. So discrete. So this is discrete mode. Okay. Now if I run this, this will run. It type time to run. Okay. And uh, we are getting the output voltage. Yeah, it's uh, So now, if you see, uh, it is run for uh, 0.8 second. Okay, it is very short duration. So it is having uh, three different. It means four different points, 0 to 3, 0 to 3 seconds. Okay, 
then uh, 0.3 to 0.5 second, 0.5 to 0.6, and 0.6 to 0.8. That is, uh, in the file we have already mentioned these are the values and descriptions. Okay, and just show you afterwards. So at at starting 0 to 3, 0 to 0.3. So nominal uh, ID is going to be 0.5 per unit. Okay, and ID reference also 0.5 per unit. Alpha is near about 60, 60 degree, and there is no fault current. Okay, again we are having second uh, scope. Uh, here we are just measuring BABC, IABC, and VD ideal. Okay, so at 0 to 0.3 second, so they are working it very much normal. Okay, starting there is a pulse. Okay, afterwards. Up to 0.3 second, it is going to be normal. Now, uh, after 0.3 second, at 0.3, what happens? Uh, there is a short circuit is happened. So now, if I just go through this HVDC model, and if you see this HVDC system, uh, point, DC point, so it is having the transition period of 0.5 to 0.51. Or 0.5. Okay. Yeah, the point 0.5. Okay. So, so this is a fault. Okay. And this is a starting zero. So it is open at starting 0 0.5. It is a it is a fault. And 0 0.51. It is a fault can be removed. Okay. So again we are going to the scope. So at 0.3 second the reference current is increased by from 0.5 per unit to the normal current of 1 per unit. Okay, so if you see 0.5 to 1. Okay, so again the ID value it takes time to get react and settle it. Okay, in same case the current regulator is point at obviously point one second. So you can see point one second is required to take a time, and uh, alpha is decreased. So if you see there is a, a sixty value, it is going to be decreased. If there is a decrease in the uh, alpha, obviously current is increased and the output power is increased. Okay. In same case in second scope also, if you see the voltage is not to be uh, very but slightly is get decreases, but the current is going to be increased. It takes 1.1 second to settle it. Okay. Then output voltage of the transmission line. So see, somewhat increase. Now at 0.5 second. So in this particular case, there is a fault. Okay. In this in this uh, point, we are getting a fault. So when there is a sudden fault, if you see the DC current is DC fault is applied to the line. At that case, the fault current increases to 5 kA. Okay, so if you see this last one, last one, fault current is increased to 5 kA. And the ID current increases to 2 per unit. So if you see the ID current, it increases to 2 per unit. Okay, then the, some kind of regulation action is going to be taken out. And the alpha is coming into the picture. So we have to reduce that current, oil current in the transmission line. That's why we are using a 2 s It is a very, very fast response. Okay. So this is at particular case. And after this particular point, point 0.55 second. Okay. 0.55 second, it takes time to get, uh, restore the system. Okay. So at 0.5 seconds, the alpha angle forced by the protection system to reach its 165 degree. So if you see, this is 165 degree, then the force alpha input to the current regulator goes high. So it is goes high and the rectifier just passes the inverter mode and sends the energy toward the line back to 345 kV in the net. So our voltage is what 
345 kg. It is reached to that point once again. Okay. And uh, in this particular case, point is clear at point 55 seconds. Then point current is crosses to 0 is to be reached. Okay. So it is going to be 0. The alpha is gets to increase. So that's why the point current, uh, so DC current is going to be a very much 0 value. Okay. But it takes time to get react. Okay, so after some kind of seconds, uh, milliseconds, we are reaching the normal position. So see, we are getting the normal position. In the second scope also, same this. Voltage VABC, when there is a point, there is a position. In between 0 0.5 to 0 0.55. See, IABC. Okay, where is a huge current, 2 kilo ampere. Okay, then uh, VD, VDL is going to be near to the zero value. Okay, and pulsation. But after 0.55 seconds, then there is a point is clear, again it restores their original back position. So if you see, this is going to be a, a normal position. It takes 0.1 second to reach their settle value. Okay, so see, this is the settle value. So this is all about this particular particular. Main thing is what? We have to check it out. See, if there is a fault, what is the change in a, a wave forms? Okay. ID, ID, alpha, I fault, VABC, IABC, VD, and VD. So, how it is react, you have to check it out. Okay. Next, we are going to the main, main focus of this particular case. So, already I just mentioned in this particular file, all the, all the diagrams, I just put it for the understanding purpose. If you are not getting clearly, so we are having this particular observations. I just write down everything. Okay, it is readily available. Okay, and the diagram also. You can see. Okay, so this is all about the practical activity transmission system. Okay, okay thank you. Thank you so much.